Hello and welcome to another section of this complete Mern Stack project course. In this section, we are going to start working on the front end development of our real time chat application. And for the front end development, we are going to use React library. So, in this lecture, we are going to set up a React project, and for that, we are going to use npm to help us create a React project for us. So, the first thing which we are going to do is in this project folder, we have created two folders, server and client. In the server folder, we are keeping all our backend related code. And in the client folder, which is currently empty, we want to create a React project. Basically, this client folder should hold all the front end related files and folders. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this folder for now, and we are going to create this folder using a package. For that, let's go to terminal and here. Our backend application is running. So I'm not going to do anything in this terminal. Instead, I'll open a new terminal and I'll go back to the project folder. And in there, let me copy this path of this quick chat project. Let's go to terminal and there, let's move to that folder. All right. Now, here we are going to create a React project. Now, in order to create a React project, first of all, we need to download and install Create React App from npm. So, for that, let's first type npm install command. And what do we want to install? We want to install Create React App package. This package will help us create a React application. Let's press enter. So, the package has been installed. Now let me clear the terminal by typing CLS command. And next, using that create react app package, we are going to create a react project. So in order to create a react project, we are going to use npx command and we are going to use create react app package. And here we also need to specify a name for our react project. Basically, we need to specify a name for the folder inside which the react project will be created. And as I have mentioned earlier, we are going to call that folder client. So in the server folder, we are keeping all our backend related code. And in the client folder, we are going to create our front end application. So I'm going to call this project as client. Let's press enter. And this should create a react project for us. So as you can see, it is installing some packages like React, React DOM, React Scripts, and CRA template. All right, so React project has been created. If you go to our project folder, and if you go inside this client folder, there you will see some files and folders related to React. Now we want to run this project in browser. For that, let's go back to the terminal. And there we are going to type npm start command. Okay. And what this will do is it will first build our react project and it will run it on a development server. So if I press enter, okay, here we have an error and it says this start script is missing. And this is because currently we are in this folder in the quick chat folder. From this quick chat folder, we need to go to the client folder where our React project is residing. So for that, I'm going to use this CD command and we will go inside this client folder. And now we are in the client folder. The client folder is where our React project is. So here, let's go ahead and let's run npm start command. And as you can see, now our application is running on a live development server. And if you go to the browser, you can see that it is running on localhost 3000. And this is the default look of a newly created React project. Okay, so our React project has been created and it is running on localhost 3000. Now, let's go ahead and let's open VS Code. So I'm opening a new instance of VS Code. And in there, let's go ahead and let's open a folder. Let's go to desktop there. Let's go to this quick chat folder and in there we have this client folder. Let's select this and let's click on this select folder button. So this is our react project in here. We need to go to this source folder in the source folder. We will go to app.js 
and it is this HTML which is being rendered currently in the browser. So basically, this page which you see here, it is being rendered from this HTML. Now, this is not an HTML actually, this is called as JSX and we will talk about what is JSX in a great detail in one of the lectures. But for now, I'm simply going to change it. So I will remove it from here. And from here, let's say we want to return an H2 element. And here, let's say, this is my React app. And that's it. Let's save the changes here. Let's go to the browser. And you will see that that H2 element has been rendered here. Okay. So in this lecture, we created a React project. Now, before I wrap up this lecture, in our backend code, I want to do some modification. So if you see here, we have this message.js file. And in there, we are creating a message schema. And based on that, we are creating this message model. Now, the problem here is, if you see, I have not added timestamp here. And because of that, whenever we are creating a new message document in the MongoDB database, you will see that there we don't have created at and updated at fields. But I also want to have created at and updated at fields for message documents also. So I'm going to modify this schema and there I'm simply going to add timestamps to true. Let's save the changes and that's it. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.